Hi, I'm Mark Cantor and I'm at Cantor Injury Law today and I'm going to talk to you about the value of your head and neck injury case. And I'm speaking to you with 25 years of experience handling these cases in Missouri and Southern Illinois. I know a lot about the head and uh, spine as a result of litigating literally uh, thousands of cases uh, on behalf of injured clients. So. Let's talk about uh, the most common injury that we see, uh, whiplash. And I'm gonna use this uh, spine to illustrate. And um, this is uh, the, the spine, the cervical is uh, the neck, and then you have thoracic, and then you have lumbar. And today we're gonna be talking about the cervical. When um, you experience whiplash, it can be sudden movement of your head, usually it's a rear end collision. So you're hit back like that and then forward and it causes your neck to flex and it causes, um, uh, it's a sprain strain type injury to your cervical spine and your muscles contract to try to accommodate that injury to, to make it less severe. Um, and it is frequently treated by uh, chiropractic care, although in Missouri for jury trial purposes, I prefer medical care. Uh, I think that an orthopedic surgeon combined with physical therapy and an MRI is better for your personal injury case um, than chiropractic care. And the reason I believe that, and a lot of people love chiropractors, and I'm not cutting on chiropractors at all, but for trial, you have to testify within a reasonable degree of medical certainty and you can bet that that big insurance company is going to bring in an orthopedic surgeon that they've paid 1800 hours for a single visit to say that you know you had mild trauma and you got better it should have been a thousand hours worth of care you're asking for policy limits or 50 or 100 thousand you're not going to be able to do that with a chiropractor that gives you chiropractic therapy so i would prefer and this is not always sometimes you don't have um, the availability of an orthopedic surgeon with physical therapy. But if you're given a choice, I would go to an MD, uh, an orthopedic surgeon, a pain management doctor, uh, particularly for cases in St. Louis County. So we're talking about head and neck injuries and the first injury that we've talked about is a whiplash. Um, you know, if you come to my office, when I started Cantor Injury Law, I was a Cantor Law Firm actually uh, in the early 90s. Um, that was my first brochure. My father's name was on the door. My father is Dr. Harvey E. Cantor. He's a pediatric neurologist, a brain doctor for children, an MD. So I grew up um, hearing about head and neck injuries. Um, obviously your head and your neck is your central nervous system and everything else is your peripheral nervous system. So when you injure your neck, if you have a disc herniation, it in, impedes upon uh, the nerve, and that's why you have pain that radiates down an arm or down a leg if it's in your low back. So we're going to talk about um, uh, disc herniation. So the disc herniation is, I deal with these all the time from truck accidents and car collisions and work injuries, but the only way to properly di diagnose a disc herniation is with an MRI or a CT scan. X-rays do not show anything but the bone. So this is a disc herniation, the red ball there, it, it, I would call it an extrusion. It's a herniation because the disc material is outside of its normal area and it's impinging upon a nerve, it's causing pain down that leg most likely. So how do you see that? You don't see it on an x-ray, an x-ray might show that there's increased space there. Uh, the way you see that is with an MRI, which will show the soft tissue so you've got to get an MRI to be diagnostic of your disc herniation. If you have a lawyer and you go to a chiropractor and you don't get an MRI, that's a mistake because you won't be able to see that. And uh, of course, I tell people the perfect spine is on a 12 year old. Okay, there's no disc herniations or problems. As you get up into our age, ages, as we've been working for a long time, uh, you probably have some um, some some problems with your discs they're going to call it degenerative changes if they're on the defense okay you need a doctor to read that that mri to say you have a, a herniation it's traumatically caused caused by trauma caused by that truck that hit you and not uh degenerative that's caused by age and so it's very very important not only the lawyer you get but the doctor 
that the lawyer utilizes for that expert opinion. Because if they say your injury is there, it's degenerative, that doesn't win your case. It's gotta be caused by the event that you're alleging. That's called causation. In a tort, you have to show a duty of care, a breach of that duty of care, and that it caused damages. So if you get hit in a parking lot and you have a little tiny ding on your car and you don't get treatment for a long time, um, you might have a case that you can win, but what will you win? How much damages do you have if you have a delay in care? Okay, it's hard to link those things up. So your lawyer has to prove those things and the way the lawyer does that is with medical evidence. So um, we're still talking about uh, MRIs and disc herniations. Obviously this is the person's front and this is the, the back. There's also bone fractures. I've seen a lot of bone fracture cases. If the trauma is severe to the spine and because, the, because it is the central nervous system, put this away, um, you know, without your brain and your spine protecting that, um, uh, your nerves, uh, you don't have much, okay? I mean, your brain is, 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 is critical, and I've seen a lot of traumatic brain injuries, so um, we're going to talk about that for a moment, too. But uh, when we talk about broken bones, we're talking about collarbones and facial bones. I see a lot of orbital fractures, um, uh, jaw, okay? Um, you know, you, you have your mandible and the little joint is TMJ, okay? So if your joint in your jaw is not working properly, and we can treat you with, you know, send you out to an orthopedic surgeon, to uh, certain uh, oral surgeons, um, to neurologists uh, to treat TMJ, uh, but that's something that shouldn't go without um, uh, addressing medically. If you have an injury case and you're having pain in the jaw, uh, that happens a lot. Um, so we're, we're talking, you know, and also on discs, I mentioned herniated discs, extruded discs, uh, torn discs, and the value of your cases can be determined by what treatment did you have. If you have TMJ symptoms, you go to the dentist once, it's a lot different than if you go 10 times and they make a device to help your TMJ. Or if you have an MRI to your cervical spine, it shows a herniated disc, you know, do you, did you get injections? Did you get physical therapy? Do you, did you get a surgical recommendation? Uh, what is the status of both the past care, the current complaints, and the future care? Because those are elements of your damages in a jury trial in Missouri or Illinois. Um, okay, so when you hire a lawyer, you need a lawyer that's going to coordinate your care with doctors. And the reason, and, and whatever I say to you is attorney client privilege, okay? But if you pick your own doctor, and you pick an insurance company doctor, it's probably not gonna go well for you, all right? And I don't care whether it's a car accident, truck accident, or a worker's compensation case. You need to be smart about um, who you choose to have on your side. At Cantor Injury Law, we never charge a fee unless we win. Our fee is a third of the amount recovered. It's 25% in worker's compensation. Uh, in medical malpractice cases, we charge 40% or if suit is filed in another civil case. Um, but I have competitors that charge more um, than our basic fee. And if we don't win, um, we don't charge you a fee at all. There's, there's no money out of your pocket um, necessary. Um, if we win, we get our fees and our expenses. So like I said, I've done this for 25 years. Uh, it's all my firm does. Um, you know, come by, visit us at Cantor Injury Law come and pick up some swag and we can talk about your case and how to win it. Mark Cantor, 314-628-9999. Thank you and thanks for watching.